Okay, welcome to part two where we're going to take a look at Turtles Fighters. Yes, and this is apparently based off the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, they removed the copper in this one. It seems to be completely random as to whether they're bothering removing the copper or not. Uh, it's just play versus CPU. I will admit I'm pretty terrible at this game because I've never really bothered to play it much. But again, even if I did bother, <laughs> I'd still be pretty bad at it because I'm not very good at fighting games. I suppose Shredder just to be a cheap bastard. Uh, yeah, might as well play against Ralph. Why not? <laughs> Don't tear on Pirate Ship, Waterfront Sewer. Play, play the sewer, just because. Okay, Shredder versus Raph, wonderful. I believe Raph blue. I don't remember him being blue in the TV show. Okay, and the screen flickered a bit there. Why did the screen flicker? Ooh, he's... Oh, I see, Shredder's a bit like... Well, I suppose it's supposed to be like this game's cover and then Boyson or something. Okay, I've made some back into the corner and yeah, I'm still losing. Like I said, not great at fighting games. I will admit. Ah, kick foo. Yes, I did rip that off. I don't care. Okay, keep doing that. I keep doing that punch at the wrong time. I will say I do like the uh, background effects that they use in this game. Okay, and apparently that does a lot of damage if you can get to hit the right time. So it's probably a good thing I picture it actually. Yes, and I won. Yeah. Now, the Nintendo isn't really known for its fighting games, but this is definitely a game I recommend picking up. Hell, it's been the fighting games I recall playing on the N64, I'll say that much. But yeah, uh, yeah, there is a second round, isn't there? Just like every other fighting game. Apart from that Fat Man game, but then again, that game sucked anyway. It was like an old Mega Drive fighting game, and it was just absolutely God awful. Like one of the worst games I've ever played, to be honest. This is actually worth playing because it's actually good. Like I said, actually a pretty good game. Especially considering Especially considering that this is, you know, Nintendo. Technically uh NES, because I don't think this game ever got released on the Famicom. But yeah, I'm losing really badly, so let's just move on. Ferrari. Uh this is it's a present. There's a present bought by Satan, and I will explain why. Although I did explain why in the previous video, but screw it, I'm going to explain it here too. For those who didn't watch that video. Yep, said all this, I don't care, I don't care. Now, why is this game so awful? Well, when you start the game up and play this little qualifying lap here, it's actually not a bad game. But it does get pretty awful later on. As I will explain. First off, uh, the realization that you are forced to do a qualifying lap to actually play the race. That is annoying in itself. And yes. Another problem is uh, your car accumulates damage throughout the race and you can't switch that off. There's not enough options in the game. I mean, this game really needs the option to switch off the qualifying lap. I mean, I never, <laughs> I never had that problem with F1 Hero. I mean, F1 Hero is pretty bad, but at least you didn't have to do a qualifying lap before each race. And the pitting sections, Christ, they are awful. But I'll point those out later on. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is going to take a while because of these bloody qualifying laps. What is good about this game is the music is actually very good. Uh, if I'm incorrectly composed by a bloke called Neil Baldwin, I think. I can't remember. I remember uh, coming 38 pointing out in a previous video, but uh, I do know, I do know the uh, one of the songs in the game is actually reused from James Bond Jr. or could be the other way around. I think they were both made in the same year, so I haven't got a clue. But yeah, actually trying to another problem that I will point out as soon as I complete this lap. Thankfully, you only have to do one, so it's not too bad, I suppose. But yeah, now you may notice I only made one minor slip up in the entire lap, and uh, I'm going to skip this. Yes, now you might notice I'm in 17th place. Yeah, no matter how well you do, the best you can do in that lap is 17th. I suppose it's supposed to be played out like Ridge Racer or something like that, 
where you start off near the back and have to work your way to the front. But for this game, it doesn't really work. I mean, this is a Ferrari game. It just, to me, it just doesn't work. At least not here. Enough of this annoying uh, that I will come to eventually, because it, it always happens, is that you'll get stuff like oil on track and you have to dodge the oil. But the game doesn't give you enough time to dodge it. Okay, noise control, thank you. I like how the game compliments you every now and then when you like overtake opponents. That I do like. Especially when you're overtaking them on turns. It's like saying, yeah, you're awesome at this game. Yeah, great move. Why wasn't that great? Oh, bugger. Yeah, and every now and then when you mess up like that, it will say something like, bad move. Well, some, well something along those lines at least. The message varies, of course. Uh, so yeah, overtake this bloke. Oh, didn't say anything that time. That's the most interesting part of this game, is reading the messages at the bottom. So yeah, piece of shit, limit 25, wonderful. Uh, as far as I said, there's probably going to be more than 25 piece of shit games on this thing. Given the sheer amount. And uh, given Sturgeon's Law, this can be uh, way above that. For those of you who don't know what Sturgeon's Law is, I suggest you look it up. But yeah, um, I'm just going to end the game after this little next bit that I'm going to show off. Is the pitting. <laughs> the pitting is just god awful. See, because what you have to do is you essentially have to mash the A and B buttons. It's just stupid. Now, of course, if you have, um, if like me, you're playing a control that has turbo buttons, this isn't that bad. But if you're playing with like a, a proper controller, yeah, it's a it's an absolute pain. It's like the it's like the uh, elevator scene in Ghostbusters, and as you may notice, that oil on track always crash into the oil. Okay, NBA basketball. Which is just called Basketball and was apparently made in 1998. Except it wasn't, it was made in... Actually, I'm not sure, I think it might have been made in 1990. I think 1990, I can't remember. Um, I haven't really bothered playing this game, so I'm probably going to do pretty terrible at it. I played it for a bit, and it, it feels like a poor man's... To me, it feels like a poor man's double dribble. Uh, put the Wolves, just because... Uh, who should we play against? There's only seven teams, so I'm not sure. I haven't checked the tournament mode, but yeah, seven teams, not many. And I don't think any. I'm pretty sure none of them are actually real teams, because I don't remember there's such thing as the Los Angeles Eagles. Last time I checked, they were the Lakers. Uh, let's play against Detroit, see if Robocop's on the other team. Somehow I would doubt it, because I don't think the game is that much comp relief. The other graphics aren't bad, I'll give it that much. But yeah, it, to me it just feels like a poor man's double dribble. And double dribble at least had those nice little cutscenes uh, when you like when you try to slam dunk. I don't think you get that in this game. And yeah, I am the team in green, in case you're wondering. Hey, I've just scored. Nice. Okay. I can I can't be bothered to check. Ah, oh, of course you get that, but as you may notice, nowhere near as impressive looking as the cutscenes in Double Dribble. I mean, Double Dribble... Oh, come on! That's the thing that annoys me about this game. Double Dribble, uh, the movements feel a lot more... It just feels a lot more easier to play. This is just an absolute pain to play, if I'll be honest with you. But the enemies always block your shots. And, yeah, impossible. Not even gonna bother, because it's just that bad. Cuba Revolution. Uh, let's just quickly play this. This is uh, Guerrilla War, as it says there. Or, well, actually, no. Technically, this version is actually called Guevara. I can't remember how to pronounce his name, but yeah, it's called Guevara. Of course, named after the great Che Guevara, who, of course, led the Cuban Revolution. Yes, I did read that up in history. And this is a great game. Ah, they just love history. Ooh! But yeah, uh, last time I checked, they didn't use. Last time I checked, they didn't use lasers in the Cuban Revolution. I don't think they have access to that technology, especially in the 1950s. I mean, we still can't use that technology now. So, uh, <laughs> so it's very historically accurate as Young Guns, which I watched a few days ago. It's a great film. 
this is a great game, so historic is ooh. So yeah, uh, any historically any historical inaccuracies can be overlooked, in my opinion. I mean young guns had, you know, electric guitars and that was still a great film in my opinion. You might disagree. I personally think it's a great film. Set in the old west. Oh, spread fire or spread shot. Random action 52 game. Ooh. Oh, I know it's like a spray or something. I don't know. Oh, oh no, I want this. I want the spray. I want to keep the spray. Oh, I know this bit. Yeah, you have to pop the truck. Yeah, you're down. Uh, should be coming to the third boss pretty s well, the first boss pretty soon. Doesn't matter how many times you die in this game, if I remember correctly, you get unlimited continues anyway. Oh yeah, that beating means you're gonna get killed. Oh, yeah, that thing's that thing's gonna blow up, so I'm not gonna bother walking into it. I think, if I remember correctly, that's supposed to kill you, so I'm not gonna bother walking into it. And I walked into it like a big idiot. So yeah, this is it's like it's a lot like a Kai Warriors, except this is a lot better. Because uh, the, the Famicom port of the Kai Warriors really wasn't all that great. The control it controlled very awkwardly, and the audio visuals were not great. I mean, this is a lot better. I mean, it's historically inaccurate, but it's still pretty awesome nonetheless. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get killed by the plane. I don't feel like getting killed by planes. But graphically, it's actually pretty impressive, I must say. You know, and this came out. 1988. Uh, can't blow up these walls. Particularly annoying me. Ooh! It's like the, um... I forget what it is now. Oh, it's, it's like that weapon in Heavy Barrel. With a game which sadly is not included on this. Oh, bugger. <laughs> yeah, probably not a good idea to blow up the hostages or whatever they are. But I'm gonna do it anyway, just because I'm an idiot. Ah, no, no, I'm not gonna have that happen to me again. Oh, come on, how was I supposed to dodge him? Yeah. And the boss is just annoying as hell. I'm not a big f Yeah, like I said, boss, annoying as hell. Can't be bothered with it. And yeah, as you can see there, Guevara Castro. I'm not gonna bother completing the level just because I can't be bothered. But join me in part three, well, go over Pocket Monster. Oh, God.